I'm going to show you how to submit an online Prevent Blindness Ohio or PBO patient application on their website. So first thing first, it's really important that you have access to the rehabilitation folder in Dropbox. To get to that folder, first click on CCC Documents. Then click on Officer Specific Documents. Then click on Rehabilitation Services. And then click into Prevent Blindness. The reason we're going into this folder is because we need to get the web link for the PBO website because that's how we submit online applications. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for Prevent Blindness Ohio website login. Click on the document. You're going to click open. Click on the link. Now my logon information is already saved, so it's just really important that you go back to that page, put in the username, put in the password, okay, click login. The name that you want to select in the box is Richard. Ideally as the director of rehab, you should have your own account, so you should be selecting your own name, and what that guarantees is that you get all the information from PBO regarding the patients that you need to call and when you call them what you're supposed to do. So hopefully you'll get an account soon and you can rehab people and volunteers can click on the director of rehab's name as opposed to the executive directors. But for the time being we use Richard Pham's account and click continue. For the patients we see at the free clinic we always click on eye exam that includes eyeglasses for adults. Here's the application. You just submit all the information. If you're doing a traditional PBO application, then you put in the comment box that the gift card needs to be sent to the patient address. It is critical that you tell the patient that PBO is going to mail them the gift card for a free eye exam. And if they miss this letter, they will not send another one. So they only get one chance for the gift card. So it's really important that they watch out for the letter from PBO. It's also important to say that a PBO representative will contact them and that someone from the clinic will contact them regarding their appointment. So again, in the comment box, if you're doing a traditional PBO application, you say, please send gift card to patients home patient needs to understand that they're going to get a gift card sent in the mail from PBO and PBO only sends one. So if they lose it, if they can't find it, they will not send another one. So they need to make sure they gave us the correct address and they're going to be at that address for at least a month or so. As well, you need to tell the patient that someone will contact them, a PBO representative and someone from the clinic regarding their appointment. As the director of rehab, you're going to call the patient and remind them of their appointment. You're going to get that information from PBO. And you're going to call the patient after their scheduled appointment to get results. And then you're going to input those into the website. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So on the front page, if you're going, if you call the patient and you're going to input results of their eye exam, you're going to click on display all open cases and whichever patient you're talking to just fill in the appropriate information and put in notes and then you click submit and then continue in regards to the new system with the VSP gift cards if a patient qualifies for a VSP gift card, so they, they fail the screening and they don't have Medicaid, 
and if they have Medicare insurance, they don't fall within the unqualifying categories. This is all explained on the adult registration form, which I sent out. And they have a social security number, then in the comment box, you put the gift card information and say that you gave them a gift card on this date. Here's the gift card number. And you don't have to call the patient. However, you do have to once a month look at the open cases and call the patients and say, hey, did you schedule your appointment or what happened? Because the if they haven't scheduled their appointment, they're going to remain open as an open case. With VSP gift cards, the VSP eye care providers will submit the results of the exam directly to PBO. So you don't have to worry about that part with VSP gift cards. But if a patient hasn't scheduled the appointment, there's still going to be open case. So you have to call the patient, hey, you know, did you schedule your appointment? No. And then you have to kind of ask why or if there's any problem. When you're giving out a VSP gift card at the clinic, all the instructions are on the adult registration form. Uh, to kind of provide a brief little overview about it, um, you have them fill out the gift card. You give them a list of providers that accept this gift card. You explain to them that they have to call this number and schedule their own appointment. You have to say that they only get one gift card. So if they lose it, that's it. We will not give them another one. Additional information regarding the VSP system are on the information I emailed out. So there's an instruction sheet and then the adult registration form also has a lot of explanations on how to interpret and how to give out the gift card and the data that you need, etc.